Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Susan and today we're going to do a lovely little Pilates class, a 30 minute Pilates class, and today we're going to be using our lovely resistance bands, okay? So this one here I have is about two meters long, so it's about six feet long, all right? So I know a lot of you have these things hanging around at home and you never use them, right? Now, you have to choose the resistance, okay? Um, if you're not very strong, if you have you know, issues with your shoulders or your hips, find something that's a little bit looser, okay? I have a, one that's a little tighter because um, well, I know I can use a tighter one or one that is a little bit, uh, has a little bit more resistance. So let's do a little warm up first before we start with our bands. Now, Pilates breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. When you exhale, a strong, forceful exhale like the letter H in hollow, and I want you to engage your core. So every time you exhale, basically suck your gut in, all right? So for the first four breaths, we're gonna do a few more places that I want you to engage. So on the exhale, for the first four breaths, I want your thighs nice and tight, pelvic floor, bring it up nice and tight, buttocks tight, belly button spine, and I want you to visualize that you've got a belt tightening around your ribs. So everything basically just kind of squeeze everything to make it a little easier. Shoulders are nice and relaxed, arms to the side, let's breathe. In through the nose, and everything, just squeeze everything as tight as you can. Keep breathing, this is breathing out to the side, which is thoracic breathing. Exhale, couple more, keep going. A full breath, so really try to fill those lungs, a full inhale and a full exhale, one more. All right, all right, release the heels, roll the shoulders out. Now the rest of the warm up, the rest of the class, just focus on belly, button to spine. Do your best, do what you can, don't hold your breath, and don't forget to breathe. And also take it easy. If this is gonna bother you, if it's gonna cause you any pain or aggravated condition, take, you know, you can, I'll show you a couple of ways you can work around it. Stop, don't have to do it, all right? So let's do a little warm up. Inhale, arms up, and Keep going. So this is going to warm up the body slowly and really help you connect with that breath. So being able to synchronize the movement with the breath. Sometimes that's a little bit challenging to do. <sighs> Belly button to spine. Don't forget. One more up. And <sighs> all right. Roll the shoulders up. Let's do a nice calf raise. So this one here we're going to do is going to come up on the balls of the feet and come down. So I want you to find a focal point, a little spot on the, on the floor to stare. That'll help you with your balance. This is going to work on the strength of the toes, the feet, the ankles, and of course the calves. So relax the shoulders. Now, the arms can be on the side like this to help you with your balance. If you're feeling a little extra balance today, you can bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling if you'd like. All right, we're going to do four of those, and they're going to stay up for four. Let's go. Inhale up. And... Come all the way down to your heels, touch the floor. Again, up, inhale up, and a couple more, keep going. Do what you can, don't worry if you're a little wobbly. You know, this is just a warm up. And the next time we're up is staying there. And come down. All right, perfect. Roll out the ankles, shake the legs out, release those calves, roll the shoulders up. And we do a lot of stretching between the exercises, and when we do the stretching, it's just normal breathing, just to release the tension and slow things down, all right? So let's do another one. Arms to the side, standing nice and tall. Inhale, arms back, look over the right shoulder. Exhale, arms down, look forward. And This is going to warm up the shoulders, starting to release, stretch out the chest, the pectorals, and a gentle neck stretch. Let's do one more on both sides. Keep that breath going. And all right, roll the shoulders out, shake it out. Okay, let's get to work. Now, I want you to take your band and we are going to stand on the middle of the band. So, when I have my normal um, full length classes, I uh, add a little extra, but today we're just gonna shorten it a bit. So, 
Normally I start with one arm and then I do the other, then we do both. But today we're going to just do both all at once, okay? So rolling out the shoulders, roll them out. Now, here's where you're going to know if, if your band is too loose or too tight. I'm going to give you a demo and then I'll give you a, um, another way to do it. So we're going to do come up, arm shoulder height, and <sighs> exhale down. So this is called the lateral uh, raise, all right? So this is working, of course, the shoulder, but this is working your lat latimus dorsis, so Lodorsi, so the muscles along your shoulder blade, for example, all up there. So if you can't get your arm shoulder height, lower is fine, but don't bring them at any higher, all right? If you find it's a little too much, drop the band and continue on without the band, okay? So you have those choices. Standing nice and tall, let's go. Inhale up and now, of course, if you need more tension, if it's not uh, tight enough, you can wrap the band around your wrist or around your fingers. That'll give you a little more if you need more. And like I said, if you if you really aggravate your shoulders, just reduce your movements. Even if you bring your arm up a little bit or stop and just release the band or don't do it at all. Don't worry about it. Now, the next time you come up, stay here. One more down. All right, let's rest. Now the rest is normal breathing. Drop the band, soften your knees and hang out. Let the arms hang, you can wiggle them around a little if you want, release if you want, you can fold up the elbow. Just let it go, stretch it all out. Come back up slowly so you don't get dizzy, roll the shoulders out, all right? We're gonna do another one and then after the next uh, exercise, we'll do a, a couple extra stretches, okay? Now again, roll it out if you need to, okay? Now this again, we're gonna work the shoulder again, but now we're gonna work a forward flexion. So we're gonna work the chest as well now. Let me show you this one here. So this one here, we're gonna come up forward, shoulder height or lower is fine, all right? I'm gonna go sideways, you can see me here. Standing nice and tall, feet are anchored to the floor. Let's go, inhale up and You can feel your abdominals engaging. You can feel your back muscles engaging. You know, this having a resistance like this is just kind of almost tricking your mind to think that your arms are really, really heavy. And they are. So there's a lot of other activity going on in your body. Let's go up. Now, the next time you're up, stay here. Breathe. Belly button spine, suck the gut in. One more. And down. All right. Soften the knees and hang out. Wiggle them around if you need to. Release the tension in the shoulders. Come up nice and slow. And I want you just to grab your elbow and give yourself a little hug. And let's really get a nice stretch. Slow down the breathing. Slow down the heart rate. This is normal breathing. Release the tension as it accumulates. Perfect. All right, and roll the shoulders out. All right, now, we're gonna do another one. Now we're gonna change, we're gonna hit some other muscles now. So we'll give the shoulders a bit of a rest. Now when you're standing, if you wanna have your legs a little bit further apart, it doesn't matter. I want you to feel comfortable and anchored to the floor. So now we're gonna do a bicep curl. So this one here is gonna focus on our lovely biceps, okay? So make sure that you're in the right position, you have the right form so that we target that specific area, all right? Now, let me show you this one here. Standing nice and tall, I'm gonna go this way so you can see what I'm doing. Now, oops, maybe not. Now, very important that the elbows are tucked right into the side of the body. <clears throat> and grab your band, if you want, you can wrap it around your fist if you're a little stronger. Now, elbows tucked in, fists are out. We're gonna come up, all the way, and <sighs> now make sure that your elbows are nice and tucked in. You know, visualize that they're basically strapped to your torso. Because if your elbows are like this wobbling around, you're still gonna get a workout, but you're not targeting the right muscles. So elbows tucked in nice and tight, standing tall, ready, let's go, inhale up bicep curl and if you have nice strong biceps wrap the strap around your hand and that'll give you a little more tension if you need it and like I said if you find that this is a bit too much drop the strap and just do the same thing without the strap if you find 
that works better for you. Again, up, standing tall, breathe, exhale. Again, up. Now, the next time you bring it up, stay here. One more. Down. All right, drop the strap. Let's stretch those biceps up right away. You can move away from the strap. Now, from here, what I want you to do <clears throat> is just bring out the chest, drop the shoulders, and just lean back. Look up to the ceiling. Reach back. Bring the shoulder blades together. That'll stretch it out. If you were standing, let's say, next to a wall or a pole or something, you can do the same thing. Put your hand and just... So you're just reaching back. You're actually stretching the whole upper arm, but focusing on the bicep. Bring it up, roll the shoulders out. If you want, you can do this particular stretch here, stretch it all out, because we're really working a lot of the, all the upper arm muscles, the shoulders as well, stretch it out. All right, and roll it out. All right, now let's work the triceps. This is our right back here, our little chicken wings, okay? So I want you to grab the middle of the band, <clears throat> And you're going to stand on the ends, on the little tail, all right? Just like that. You can have your legs a little bit wider. I'm going to show you the end result. I'll give you a second or a minute or two to get yourself all organized here. So what we're going to do here now, <clears throat> so I want you to check for tension first before we do anything else. So make sure you're standing tall. I don't want you all hunched over like this, all right? Because I really want you to work those muscles. Use those arms. So we're going to come up. Sure. As high as your chest, elbows wide, and exhale down. That's it. All right, so do the tension. Make sure you've got enough tension that not too much that you're struggling and you're like this, okay? Or not too loose that you're going to hit yourself in the chin. All right, just enough. And remember to pace yourself too because we're going to do four. We're going to hold for four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Standing nice and tall. Ready? Inhale up. And Inhale up. <sighs> Using that exhale, belly by the spine, that is your power. That is called a powerhouse. Inhale up. And <sighs> next time you're up here, stay here, breathe. <sighs> belly by the spine, forget, don't forget. One more. And down. All right, you can drop the band. All right, roll the shoulders out. Let's do it, let's stretch it out. Bring your arms here. Let me back up so you can see me. And you can just lean from side to side. And stretching, releasing the tricep, all right? And if you want, you can bring your arms down, give yourself a little hug as well. Stretch everything out. Just relax the shoulders. This is normal breathing. All right, good. And roll it out. Perfect. Okay. Let's start working. Let's work our way down to some legs. Let's give the arms a bit of a rest, a little bit. So I want you to fold the band in half. Okay, so now we're going to do a nice sumo squat. I'll just move my mat here a little bit. So sumo squat. Nice wide V. Okay, now the band. Fold it in half, we're gonna have the hands over. Okay, I have to move back a little further here. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna squat down and we're gonna open the arms, all right? So it's not focusing so much as the, on the arms and more so on the legs and the thighs, okay? Now, when you squat down, I want you to keep your back straight, come down, go as far as comfortable. So I don't want you leaning forward like this, straight and up. So if you're not very strong, let me fix this a little bit more, then don't worry, you don't have to go too low, all right? And as you come down, you're going to open up the arms, all right? So ready? Let's go. Inhale and let's get a little fire into those thighs, working all the lower body and up, push it up. Inhale down. Up. Keep your back straight. Next time you come down, stay here. One more. Up. All right. Ooh, that felt good. 
good. Lots of fire in those thighs. And shake it out. Shake it out. Roll the shoulders out. Perfect. All right. So let's work some hips now. All right. So what I want you to do is get on the floor, sit down nice and comfortable. Now take your band, fold it in half. Now I want you to wrap this around just above the knee on your thigh. So I'm going to show you, give you a demo, and then you can take a second and make the adjustments. So I'm wrapping the strap around, just doing one little tie. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to lay on our side and we're just going to be opening up the knees. Okay, so make sure that you have enough tension, not too much that you're going to cut off the circulation, but not too loose that you have no control and you're just whipping it around. Be careful now, not too tight because you're going to pace yourself, okay? So once you find the resistance that feels just right, then you make your knot. Right there, just like that. Okay, so from here, we're going to lay on to the mat, all right? Now, with the side, the, laying on the side of the mat, if you find this is a little too much for your hips, um, you can use a thin, a little pad. I usually provide little pads for my students, a little towel or a little blanket. Make yourself comfortable because everybody's got bony hips, all right? Landing on the side of your mat, the back of the mat. Now, knees are bent, okay? Now, the knees are nice and stacked. Hips are nice and lined up. Knees are stacked. Hands on the floor, this is your kickstand, this is your stabilizer. Try to keep your body from moving around. All right, we're gonna start with a clamp. Now this is working the nice strong hip muscles, okay? So, take it easy. If you find that this is too intense for your hips, if you have issues with your hips, you can get out of the band. You can do this without the band. You don't need the band for this one, okay? If you don't want to. So let me show you. We're gonna keep the heels together. We're gonna to inhale up and all right, so like I said, wiggle out of the band if you want to do it without the band. It's the same difference. The resistance is just making it a little bit more tough, a little tougher, I should say. Let's go. Inhale up. And just relax. Inhale up. So this is called our little clam. And up. Stay here. Breathe. Belly button spine, don't forget, one more. Bring it down. All right, now let's take a little rest. If you can, take the top knee, just put it on the floor. You can straighten the bottom leg and rest. If you want to rest your upper body, you can come all the way down. Just take a quick little rest, slow everything down, release the hip. It's a little stretch for the hip. This is our go-to stretch. You can do come here anytime you want. So just remember, we're doing, we're only doing sets of four and we're holding for four. If you want to do one and you think that's all I can do, then just do one. Don't worry about it. Now, break is over. Come back. Make sure that you set yourself up. You're nice and comfortable. Hips are lined up. Now, the knees are nice and lined up. Let's do one called the book. Now, with the book, we're going to release the foot. All right, so we're going to come up. And then, now, when you bring your foot, make sure that your foot is lined up to the knee and you're not way up here. All right, line everything up. Do what you can. Ready? Inhale up. And really working. We're working also the quads, the hamstrings, and all the muscles around the hip, the pelvic floor muscles, the buttocks. But focusing on the abductors, the adductors, the flexors. Again, up. And the next time you're up, stay here. Breathe. One more. And down. All right, that's a good one. You feel that. Now let's take a little break. Stay, keep your band here. But this one here, you can do without the band as well. Now these are called heel beats. This one is just for your buttocks, for your glutes. Now pelvis and hips nicely anchored to the floor. If you want, you can rest your chin on your stacked hands, or if you want to lift your head up a little bit, you can do that. So keep your knees on the floor, bring your feet slightly off the floor. We're going to click our heels. That's it. The closer your feet are to the floor, the more you're going to feel it. Isolating and engaging the buttocks, the glutes, all right? These are heel beats. I want to do 10 of them. So I want you to click your heels as fast as you can, but your breath is still slow and controlled. Pilates breath. Ready? Let's go. Now the fast 
as you go, like I said, the more fire you're going to feel into our buttocks. If you find it's too intense, just slow down your, your, uh, your kicking. That's all. You can make that adjustment as you go along. Keep going if you can. If you're tired, stop and rest. Don't be shy. Now the five principles of our Pilates practice. Concentration, centering, control, breathing. And precision. One more breath. And rest, relax. Let your legs go slack, let your buttocks just go slack. We'll do a stretch and then we're gonna to go to the other side. So from here, we're gonna get up very slow. Now take, take it easy because your back's probably gonna be really tight. Come up slow and just lean back. So this would be called our little shell. So this is a wonderful stretch for your spine, for your hips, your buttocks, your back. This is a nice go-to little stretch. It's similar to the child's pose in our yoga, but you don't have to put your head on the floor. It's just a little stretch. All right, now let's go to the other side. So very gently maneuver yourself to the other hip. Set up your little pad if you need to. See, I have a little padding. I have two uh, yoga mats doubled up here, so it's a little extra padding for me as well. All right, so. Again, head into the hand if you want. You can have your head down here if you'd like. Some people like to have a little pillow. So along the back of the mat, knees are nice and stacked. Hips are nice and stacked. Again, if this is your bad hip, come out of the mat, out of the band. You don't have to use the band to do this exercise. And let's go for our little clam. Inhale up. And... When I do these classes, I provide different strengths of bands. You know, some people have really strong legs, so they like to use a, a band that's a little bit more tight, a little tenser. They have a looser band um, for their arms and shoulders. You can make those little adjustments. These I buy at the pharmacy. You can buy them in lengths. Inhale up and, and up, stay here. So with the band, there's a whole, there's so many different things you could do. These are used for rehabilitation as well, as you probably know. One more breath. Come down and rest. Just rest. Take a second or two, let it go. Release, you can massage it if you need to. Rest that lovely hip. All right. Now, let's see if we can do our little book. Make sure you're comfortable, you're nice and anchored to the floor. Knees are stuck, hips are nice and lined up. Let's go, release the foot, inhale up and down. Keep the breath going. Exhale, belly button to spine, big inhale, full. Fill those lungs up. So you have a full exhale, lots of power up. And the next time you're up, stay here and breathe. And down, slow and gentle. All right, rest. There, okay. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna do a nice stretch called the reverse pigeon. So this one here, I need you to wiggle out of your band because this is a stretch that we don't need the band for. So get onto your back, just wiggle out of your band. We'll untie it in a minute. Left leg up, right foot on top of the left knee. You can bend the left knee. Now one hand on the right knee, one behind the thigh, and just gently pull. If you find this is uncomfortable to do, just bring your knees up and do it this way if you'd like. So this is reverse pigeon. This is a stretch for the right hip, the thigh, the whole area, but focusing on the hip. If you need a deeper stretch, just pull a little bit more. This is normal breathing. We do this in our yoga class as well. And this is a really good stretch to release that sciatic nerve. All right, let's go. When you're ready, go to the other side. So left foot on the right knee. You can bend the uh, right knee or you can keep the leg straight. It doesn't matter. Here again, adjust the stretch to what you need. And let's get a nice stretch. Release the tension into the hip area. Perfect. From here, go into a hug and let's stretch that lower back out. And just rock, give yourself a big hug. This again will stretch the thighs and the hips and the buttocks, but this one is really focusing on the lower back. Then I want you to stretch your body out, stretch it out. 
Stretch out the abdominals, the thighs. Perfect. All right. Okay, we're almost done. So we're going to um, actually let's get into our table onto our hands and knees. Don't we're gonna done with the band anyway. Let's do some cat and cow, some more stretches. This is normal breathing. Head up, sacrum up, C scoop, spine, arch the back, chin to chest, belly by the spine. This is really gonna stretch out the thigh or the um, the spine, releasing upper back, releasing lower back. We do this again in our yoga class as well. In yoga, it would be a posture. In Pilates, it's just a stretch. So when you come up in your cow, you get a stretch into your chest. You stretch out your belly. And your cat, lengthening the spine, releasing out the back, lower back. Perfect. Let's get ourselves up to standing. A few stretches and we're done. Fortunately, ran out of time to do that. There's so many more. We'll do another class and I'll show you some other really cool things. All right, this is just to get you started. So nice one, these are just stretches. Right arm up, V lateral stretch and reach. Stretch the side of your body, lengthen, release. Normal breathing. Using your core muscles to help you move your body from side to side. Now the Pilates with the band is working the periphery, which is the arms and legs. They're not as important in our Pilates as as working the core and the lower back, but it's nice to work some different muscles once in a while. Arms up, reach. From here, prepare for beast straddles, split. Come halfway down if you have issues with vertigo or high or low blood pressure. You can soften your knees if you'd like. Come down, hinging up the hips. You can keep your legs straight. Come down, bend your knees if you want. Come up halfway, it doesn't matter. It's just a stretch. Walk your hands to the left. Get a nice stretch into the left hamstring, the inner thigh, the right leg, right side of the body. Walk your hands to center and go to the other side. Just go as far as you want. Come back to center, bend the knees, come up very slowly, reverse in the blood flow so you don't get dizzy. And legs together. And we're done, yay. All right, so that's just an introduction to our little band. Like I said, there's so many other things we can do and we'll, we'll uh, touch on those in future classes. But thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you had a nice band that was perfect for you, you'll probably feel this tomorrow, which is a good thing. And it's called muscle awareness. So thanks again for joining me and hopefully we'll be back to our normal schedule at some point, but we're getting there. So go outside, get some sunshine, get some fresh air, Play in the snow if you can, if it's not too cold. And uh, stay tuned, we'll, uh, we'll do some other things uh, real soon. All right, so my name is Susan and thanks again.